everybody, my name is Professor Sabor Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab, and today we're going to be looking at. So, last time we've already discussed variables. So, today all we really need to understand is what a string is. So, let's look at what a string is. So, a string is basically a bunch of characters packed together to form a message. And if you get the uh, right number of characters together, you can actually form a sentence or you can send that sentence to the user via count. So, that's basically what a string is. Now, on to the coding. Load uh, IO stream and then using name space. I'm going to bring it higher so I can look at the code at the same time. Namespace not, no. Namespace standard. All right. Hashtag include iostream using namespace standard. And now we're almost ready to do the actual coding. And we are ready, everybody. Let's do this. All right. So, what are no int main? So, what can we do here? Well, how do we define a string variable? It's actually very simple. All you do is type string. So, if I can type string here, all you have to do is type string, and then you can put what you want in there such as, let's say, lemonade. Um, no, I'm going to go for order. So, now we're going to have two possible outputs, a yes and a no. So technically, I'm also going to teach you something that's pivotal and that comes with a variables, and usually in pairs, the if statement. So if we go count and then if we put a message over here, oh geez, that says, Would you like your lemonade cold? So imagine you're on a beach and you want a nice refreshing uh, drink of lemonade at the gift shop. And do you want your lemonade cold or do you want it iced? Oh, juice. Um, cold or iced? And then we're going to put end L. And then we put in sin, which gives us the response. We learned about that last time, if you didn't know. So, sin order. So now I'm going to be teaching you about the if statement, which you might not know. So, what's the if statement? Well, basically, you put a big giant if, then you put parentheses around it. Usually, if you were defining uh, a sort of like number, you would go variable name equal equal 
to, to represent uh, uh, the condition, uh, some number that you want the condition to be on. But, however, here we want uh, the condition for any uh, dialogue to be in the distinct things, yes and no. Because remember, the user can type anything. So we only want the, the uh, response for yes or no here. So, what we can do is pick out specific uh, little, like, cherry stuff. We can pick out specific responses to tell yes to. If order, then you put equal, equal, quotation marks, yes, then you want to do something. Uh, while the that uh, order is yes, then can say <laughs> okay, count not an option because here we would actually like cold or iced. So maybe let's type cold instead, and then here your cold lemonade okay here is your cold lemonade and then you can put end out so now just to test Let's see what happens when we try uh, to go for a cold lemonade. So, and now we have it back. Okay, would we like our lemonade cold or iced? Let's say we want it cold. So you can see, cold. And then they say, here is your cold lemonade. And then, let's put, if order, if order is iced then there was uh, the response should be okay take your iced lemonade so we're going to go like this yeah. okay eight oh geez lemonade and then oh geez that and then we can put end L. Good. So now we finished our program. Let's see how it works. So if we run this, it first defines our order and then says, would you like your lemonade cold or iced? Now, uh, we can type something and then we'll take that in and put that, test that in these two if statements. So, let's say I want to make my uh, lemonade cold and I say cold. 
if and when the computer takes that in and scans it in the two orders, it will not. Uh, it will ignore this one since the if statement doesn't comply with the response. But it will look at this one since the if statement does comply with the response. So if I type cold, you can see we can predict that it's going to say here is your cold lemonade from the program cold, and. It indeed says, here is your cold lemonade. So thank you. Uh, we can indeed do similar things if we choose iced instead. Take your iced lemonade, just like we see in the program.